audio. Same. I'm ready. Same, dude. All right. You ready? I think I gave you the intro. Hey, everybody. It's quite oh, time hey. once again. Here we are. We, We're back. We accidentally had another week off that we didn't talk about before. Whoops. I got myself sick and so did Joshua, maybe. And well, that's what happened. Yep. And we missed We had an episode one. planned <laughs> and uh, it fell that through. Did um, so, but we're back here today. Um, hopefully, going to be back into our weekly rhythm uh, going forward. But uh, today, we're just we're just gonna we're just gonna be here having fun. We're just you know we're we're here just having a grand old time. <laughs> yeah, I uh, dude, I'm actually so excited for this episode, you yeah, guys. Pretty, pretty what are we doing? What are we doing? We are just hanging out. That's all we're doing. Oh, okay. Joshua and I are. Just hanging out. Oh, I did want to say, uh, my wife had recommended our podcast to one of her coworkers, and her coworker uh, listened to it and had no, no idea way. who the, each of us were. So, if uh-huh. you're listening to, if you if you happen to be listening to this and you don't know who we are, who this voice is, this is Jordan, and my co-host is Joshua. Hello, I'm Joshua, and we are the Quarter Twins, and this is the only podcast where two quarters make a dollar. I got to get back into saying that. We have an intro that we should use and introduce ourselves in every episode because that would definitely help uh, create a relationship with our listeners. I'd say so. Um, So, yeah, we are, we usually talk about, you know, movies or TV or whatever. And we're going to talk about movies or and or TV, but we're going to do it in game format. Whoa! We're gonna be playing some Whoa. games. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, and speaking of that thing that I do, here's the ad. Whoa! We're back. Whoa! We're Whoa. <laughs> um, we we're just kind of winging this, so we don't really know. We have some games planned, but uh, what do you want to uh-huh. want to do first? Um. I want to hear your thoughts on She-Hulk. Okay. Because I haven't, I haven't watched episode three yet. I'm saving myself. Yeah. So, um, let yeah. me hear it. Let's hear it. It's uh, it's gonna be nine episodes, right? Not six. Mm-hmm. So we are, you know, a third of the way through, and um, it's fine, I guess. It's mm. the first episode. I was very optimistic. I thought the first episode was pretty okay. Um, and that the first episode is very like Bruce Spanner is in it, kind of the origin of She Hulk's character, and they like do a bunch of training together, and it's fun. And then the second episode hits, or like the the quote plot starts, mm. and it becomes a very it? uninteresting, not very compelling legal drama, um, with lots of bad jokes and that sort of thing and the third episode was just kind of also really boring and didn't really do anything for me um and and megan the stallion is a major plot point and may or may not show up in a post credit scene where there may or may not be twerking um, uh-huh. if that tells you what this Go show on, is megan. it is about then uh, that is it it's just not really my thing so i'm i i'm not a very into it so bummer bummer dude unfortunate and it looks terrible the cgi is just terrible yeah. it's awful it's not good at all it looks like a video game hey man some video um, games look pretty good that's true looks like a video game from like 2011 there you go so yeah but you know what i have been watching or what i have watched today the new Lord of the Rings TV really? show on Amazon Prime. The billion Prime. dollar episode? Yeah, the most expensive TV show of all time. Um, the first two episodes, so that's two hours of content. Um, and it's really good, I thought. It's, oh, really? You can tell that it's the most expensive TV show of all time because it looks beautiful. Mm. So if you're and a Lord you of the Rings watched fan, House of Dragon? I am House watching of House of the Dragon. Um, as well on HBO Max on Sundays. 
um, two very different fantasy series. Um, mm-hmm. If you're somebody who likes that, I definitely recommend Lord of the Rings and not House of the Dragon. Mm. Um, <laughs> just because, you know, it's Game of Thrones and that's a whole thing. Um, True. Your discretion is advised. Um, Highly advised. Yeah. The second episode, not so much, but the first episode is pretty, uh, pretty gnarly. So, yeah, just take that wow. as you will. Um, but yeah, the Lord of the Rings show looks looks really good. I really enjoy the first two episodes. Um, hmm. If you're into that sort of How thing, how much do you need to know about Lord of the Rings? Because I haven't seen or read anything of Lord um, of the Rings. You probably, you probably don't need to see the other things. It. I'll, things will make more sense if you have seen or read the other things um but i think you can get like really invested in the story without having seen any other prior things but that you know i i don't know because i have seen the other things i haven't read anything sure uh ever i don't read (laughs) at all no bummer dude Uh, i read (coughs) manga but yeah those are some things that you should check out probably Uh uh-huh uh, I have recommendations of shows. Oh, good. On my end. So I mentioned that I had started a show called Dr. Brain mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, several weeks ago already now. Crazy. I had finished it before we were ready to pl- uh, watch next or record next week's episode, but then that didn't happen. So I also started another show in the meantime. Uh, Dr. Brain started and finished. It's like mm. uh, 10 episodes, just one season. Uh, pretty good. Nice. It's a, it's like a guy who downloads the memories of recently deceased people in order to solve the mystery of right. his missing slash dead child. Mm-hmm. Pretty cool. Uh, it's a it's Korean compelling. drama. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's fun. You know, he downloads the memories of a cat. And gains cat-like reflexes at one point. Ooh, nice. So that's an interesting little point. Plot <laughs> point. <laughs> and uh, after I finished that, I finally started watching Westworld. Oh. Which is a show I've been wanting to watch for many years. Yeah. Uh, it was the it was a show I wanted more than Game of Thrones to mm-hmm, watch because mm-hmm. I was like, oh, that looks cool. Anthony Hopkins is in it. Uh, Prince Caspian is in it. Whatever that guy's name is. I don't remember his name. Yeah, I don't know. Um, first season, fantastic. Really, really good. Um, it's like this amusement park for super rich people where they can go in, and it's like an old western space with a town and mountains and Native Americans and like all that sort of stuff, everything. But all of the NPCs in the park are like semi-sentient robots Mm. that can like improvise and have all this AI and stuff. And the show is kind of about the robots figuring out what's going on Mm. kind of a thing. Very, very good. The end of the first season could have been the end of the show. It kind of wrapped itself up Mm. in a nice little bow. But then there are three more seasons. And I was very afraid that the other three seasons we're going to be about this other thing. And it's, it's very much looking like it's going to be this other thing now. And the oh. show is not what it started out as. And I think I'll watch it just because I like some of the characters. But if it really just goes down this new rabbit hole and not focusing on what it originally was, yeah. I probably won't finish it. But Interesting. first season... was that long already. Yeah, four seasons. I was surprised. But if you, I would recommend the first season, and you could not watch any of the rest of it. I okay. I would be satisfied. Good to know. So, uh, Sam and I started watching Grey's Anatomy, uh, so mm. we're <laughs> uh, we're in. Uh, we just finished season two, um, and there are nineteen seasons. Yes. So we are. Is it over? Yes. No. It's oh, it is over. For, it's been over for a few years, I think. No, uh, <laughs> but I am. Uh, I'm very into it. I am. I'm here for Grey's Anatomy. It's been a All great right. time so far. So if you need something like that to watch, I mean, we're full of recommendations. Uh, okay, we. That's what's going on 
in our lives. <laughs> All we do we is are watching, consume we entertainment. We are watching TV. <laughs> yep, absolutely. And you know, yeah. I've had... Uh, uh, I've talked about this a couple times on the show about how I have rants to myself in my, out loud in my bed when I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> uh, recently, yeah. I've been I've been talking to myself a lot about how people don't like some people just don't watch a lot of TV. Yeah, and I I watch so much TV. Sure. And like especially with anime now, also is like a whole separate sphere. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, how can you not be engaging in all of this stuff <laughs> all the time? I love yeah. it so much. We love so media. That's, yeah, I yeah. love it. It's so good. And I know a it good matters. amount about it. But we're going to test it, One day our knowledge. We're, gonna, we're both going to go to today. film school. And we're going to start yes. a production company. So... Jordan's got a game for me. All right. We're going to play several games today, but Jordan's up first. All righty. What's going down? This is a game that I stole from uh, a YouTuber, Mr. Sunday Movies. Um, so don't mm. don't at me, Mr. Sunday Movies. Um, James, I love you very much. I watch all of your episodes. Um, this is going to be Guess the Movie by the Extreme Review. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to... I'm going to read... A review of a movie. We're gonna do all MCU movies. We're gonna limit it to these are okay. all gonna be MCU movies. And I'm either gonna read you a one star review or a five star review from one of the thirty MCU movies, them. and you have to guess which movie it is based on okay. the crazy extreme review. Cause so because people seem to think some of these movies are great and or terrible. Um and they are probably incorrect. Um, <laughs> I hate that one. Thor, um, Love, and Thunder slaps. So, yeah. I mean, maybe there's some fun music playing while we're playing this game. Oh. Who's to say? Um, we're going to get the start. I'm going to kind of jump around here in my list. All these reviews okay. are coming from letterboxd.com. Letterboxd. Um, Sponsor the podcast. Yeah, that'd be great. Shout out. We okay, this is, a, this is a five-star review. So Five stars. Five-star review. Thankfully, okay. unlike Eternals, this movie was just fun and filled with laughs. Eternals was too serious and sad with a lot of drama and reminded me about the litigation surrounding the custody of my children. Oh. Very good film, this one. Which is that MCU it? movie? Yes. Okay. Was that review? For? Well, it, it came out after Eternals, so that's good. Yeah, could be. For, for, in terms of the majority. Well, he said, this movie, unlike Eternals, and meaning Eternals has already come out, yep. is full of laughs. Well, yep. there's only one funny movie. It's just fun and filled with laughs. It's got to be <laughs> the great Thor Love and Thunder. Wow. It is a Thor movie, but this is a five-star review for Thor the Dark World. Thor the Dark <laughs> World? Yeah. Full of laughs? Full of laughs and fun. Very what? good film. The villain is called the Dark Elves. <laughs> Unlike Eternals, this movie is so fun, filled with laughs. Um, this person must have rewatched Thor: The Dark World after he saw <laughs> Eternals and loved it <laughs> so much. <laughs> wow. Okay. We'll give you a one star review. Okay. One star. So this person did not like this movie. He's, uh, this is a review from Henry J. Seventeen. I should shout. Henry. Them out. Epitome of fan service slash theme park slash setting up other project garbage. Aside mm. from that, every other part of this film sucks as well. That's which, it? Yep, which movie? One stars. Well, okay. Star. If I'm going by the internet's general like brain, uh, a movie that is famous for, quote, setting up other movies would be Avengers Age of Ultron. Oh, that w that's um, a good guess. Is that your final answer? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Give it to me again. The epitome of fan service slash theme park slash setting up other project garbage. Aside from that, every theme other part park. of this film sucks as well. Theme park? Yes. What is that? It's, it's Jurassic World. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I believe that's referencing the Martin Scorsese quote about MCU movies being like theme park rides or something. Mm. It's gotta be. 
It's got to be Age of Ultron. It's in within the last this last phase of MCU movies. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Which one is the epitome of fan service theme park setting up oh, other projects? Spider Man. It's Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. What? <laughs> <laughs> that does yeah. not set yeah. up other movies. Uh, in what? I mean, okay, it, it has the. It has the Fantastic cameo scene, cameo but thing, yeah. theme park. Theme park. That is outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> One stars. All right, back to five star review. Jeez, I'm terrible at this. Okay. Five stars. Undoubtedly. Oh, wait, this is coming from uh, Mary. Undoubtedly one of the best Marvel movies, and I will not take any criticism. All in caps. Mm. <laughs> five stars. That's it? Yep. What? That's nothing Which to go on. Which one do you on. think it's the best? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Avengers Endgame. <laughs> That's a review for Captain Marvel. They loved it. What? <laughs> <laughs> this is impossible. <laughs> this is a good movie. Five stars. How is I that? Will not I, take there's no any clues. Criticism. <laughs> There's absolutely no way I'm supposed to get that. What okay. the heck? This this one is a is a one star review, and it gives you a little bit of context. Okay. Um, this is from. I gotta get one of these right. Bison's um, fire year for comic book movies. I liked this just as much as the Suicide Squad. This I believe this is sarcasm because it's a one star review. So okay. it came out okay. the same year as the Suicide Squad. What was that 20? 14, 2013? No, the uh, the James Gunn one. The oh, recent. the good one. Mm-hmm. The good okay. one. But this person apparently didn't like that movie either. The Batman. Marvel movie. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> uh, what did come out that year? Shang-Chi? Yep, it's Shang-Chi. Bang! He got one. Fire year for comic books. Give me movies. that! But he apparently didn't like it very much. Um, that was a fire year for comic book movies. This one has a little clue. It's a, This is a five-star review from DD2. Mm-hmm. DD2. Every, everybody hates on this movie for no goddamn reason. Mm. It's good. It's good, comma, you're all sheep. Is it because you hate love? Is how that's three question marks. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is that? Uh, Which one's a love story? Thor, Thor Love and Thunder. No, no. What? Okay, which, don't. Which Marvel movie has the most like romantic subplot? I mean, Eternals has a romantic subplot. That is true. It's not Eternals though. Uh, it's not Black Widow. No. Is it a Phase Four? It must be. It's not. It's not a. It's phase not Phase Four. four. It's a okay. Phase One. I'll tell you that much. Uh, read it again. Everybody hates on this movie for no goddamn reason. It's good, comma, you're all sheep. Is it because you hate love? <laughs> Is it because you hate love? <laughs> yeah. I mean, Thor and Jane in the first Thor. It's the Incredible Hulk. Five stars. Uh, <laughs> dude, I don't even, I don't even, I don't even count that movie. <laughs> Is it because you mind. hate love? Josh? I hate love. No. I oh love my. love. He love doesn't love. love me. This one, uh, well, uh, you Didn't could you that. could probably figure this one out. It's a one star review. It says, "Watch Inception instead." <laughs> which, uh, which Doctor Strange? Yeah, it's the first Doctor Strange. Nice. Okay. You've gotten two right. What am I? Yeah. Geez. All right. I this gotta, Star Wars oh, I gotta, trivia I gotta, better I gotta be good. A few more for you. Keep them coming. Keep it coming. Um, this is... I just did a... What did I do? A one-star review? You did a one-star. Okay, here's a... Watch Inception instead. Here's a, here's a five-star review. Um, and I'm going to just say the first part of this because the second part gives it away. Um, this is Natasha's best look and nothing will ever top that. So this comes down to what do you think is Natasha's best look, oh, I guess. Wow. <laughs> uh... Sh- Winter Soldier? Iron Man 2, five stars. Iron Man 2? Yep. 
five stars. Natasha's five best stars. look. Nothing will ever top. That's it. her first look. Yep. Um. Uh. One star review from Lucy. I too would sue Disney if I was in this. So there's a big clue. Mm, what, what sue Disney? What main actor sued Disney after their movie came out? I don't know. That was uh that was know. Black Widow. Scarlett really? Johansson sued Disney for millions of dollars oh, because of the whole because they didn't release it. They released it on Disney Plus and in theaters, and she was like, mm. I want more billions of dollars. Right. So, I do remember that now that you say that. As opposed to the other billion that I already yeah, have. Well, des well deserved. Well I guess deserved. So. Get your bag, Natasha. Um, or, uh, that's not her real name. Uh, Scarlet. Scarlet. <laughs> yeah, I can remember. Five star review from Robin. This Robin. is my my favorite Avenger, and everything a good superhero film should be: silly, implausible, and a lot of fun. Fingers crossed that the sequel is just as good. Oh, <laughs> which is especially ironic. Which will be oh, because the sequel is uh, not good. The sequel is not good. Oh, it's got to be. Uh, is that in your opinion the sequel is not good? Yes. Because in my opinion, no, it you might you be agree. Good. You agree. Oh, okay, okay. Um, Iron Man. Nope. Uh. Then it's got to be Thor. Yep. The first Thor. It's the first Thor. Five stars. I was going to guess Ant-Man. Everything a good superhero film should be is Thor the first 2011. Thor. Funny? Yep. Full and of a lives. lot of fun? I, I, I... Who are these people? <laughs> this one gives you nothing to go on, but um, it's really Fantastic. funny. I'll get it's it. A, this is a one-star review from Seth Gibbons. Seth... When I saw this in theaters, a man had a heart attack and fell out in the aisle in the middle of it. I'm not saying that this is an indication of how bad this movie is, but I'm also not really saying that it isn't. <laughs> oh my goodness. I will say this is this one is pretty high on your list. I'll give you a little hint. Oh. Fairly high. Um Eternals. Iron Man 3. One star. Oh, Iron Man 3 slaps. That's a great film. This one also doesn't give you anything to go on, but this is a okay. review from my cousin by marriage, Megan, who is Whoa. on Letterboxd. She Megan says, the in, Stallion? In, <laughs> uh, five stars in all caps. She says, are you kidding me? I was bawling in the club. That's the review. <laughs> I think the phrase is crying in the club. Yeah. But uh, I guess bawling could be even more dramatic. <laughs> Um, Phase four movie. Most. What what was this? What was the uh, star five rating? Star? Five, five stars. Mm -hmm. Ballin in, in the phase club. four. Uh, Spider Man. Yep, one hundred percent correct. One hundred percent. That's one, the only really sad one. Yeah, sure. Well, I don't know. One of four. the Eternals created the atomic bomb, so that was a bummer. Ah, um. <laughs> <laughs> I was crying in the club. Yeah. When <laughs> Vastos built the nuke. Uh, one star review. Never enjoyable for more than 30 consecutive seconds. And that, this is a phase four movie. Uh, and I agree Thor very highly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a terrible <laughs> movie that is. Ah, it's a great film. Um, five star review coming in here. Um, there were a few key story points that I wish were done differently. There were things I hoped this film would do, but it didn't. This was not the story I wanted nor expected. And even so, this is the best movie in the franchise. Oh, wow. Unexpected. Wow. Hmm. Wow. I want to go with Guardians 2. This is Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. What in the world are you <laughs> doing right now? That was a joke. That was a Read joke. that again. There were a few key story points that I wish were done differently. There were things that I hoped this film would do but didn't. This was the story. I, this was not the story I wanted nor expected. And even so, this is the best Star Wars movie in the franchise. Five stars. Who, who wrote this? <laughs> who wrote this? They need to get their uh, account banned yeah, from Letterboxd. I don't want to attempt to pronounce the name. What in the world? 
That was a, that was just a little joke. I threw in a Star Wars in there. That's <sighs> that review cracked me up. That is funny. Um, okay, one star review from David. Mm -hmm. Shot like TV, directed like TV, edited like TV, written like TV, acted like TV, designed like TV. You get the point. This is TV pretending to be film. There, he goes on for much longer, but that's what I'll cut it at. Oh, wow. Um, shot like TV. Yep. Civil War. Shot, directed, edited, written, acted, designed. It's Avengers Infinity War. Infinity War? <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, On Earth? Yeah, it's... Shot like TV? I don't, want, I don't know what movie you saw, David, but... Shot, directed, edited, written, acted, and designed all like TV. This movie is TV pretending to be you, film, you, everybody. Bro, I want to watch the TV shows this guy's watching. <laughs> I know. This film oddly felt aimed at the comic book fan instead of the general public, is what he says. Like, okay, yeah. What? Yeah, what? <laughs> it's a comic book movie. Yeah. Um, 21 movies deep. Let's see, I have, I think I have, I just have two more. Okay. Uh, this is another. How am I doing? I got two of them right? Yeah. <laughs> um, this is another one star review and then I'll end on a five star. So one stars. It's great if you love lazy writing, plot holes, ableism, and compulsory heterosexuality. What was that? What, what compulsory was that heterosexuality. Ableism. <laughs> Try to figure this one out. Uh, <laughs> X-Men? No, no. Think about how how crazy this person must be. Because this is one of the best movies. Ableism. <laughs> is it Guardians 1? It's Avengers Endgame. Endgame. What ableism? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's look at the discrimination in favor of able-bodied people. Well, I know what ableism is. Yeah, I needed to look it up for myself. I, it's like that's what I thought it was, but I don't know what that means in regard to Endgame. But. I can't think of any instances in that movie. All right. Well, okay. This is for all the beans. Bummer all of them i said okay. this is a five-star review i said if you don't think this w is oh let me restart <clears throat> <laughs> five-star review from bell Bell. i said if you don't think this is one of the best marvel films then your mom's a hoe aha <laughs> vine um and this isn't really a gag this we we agree with this person okay it's is it Guardians? It is Guardians of the Galaxy. It's the oh, best one. What a great one. If you don't think so, your mom's a hoe. You're... <laughs> you put Guardians 2 on number one. Didn't yeah, you? yeah, I did. But close <laughs> well, second, I guess. <laughs> uh, okay. How'd I do? Three out of 20? Got, I think you got... Yeah, three out of <laughs> however many that was. I hope you guys had right. fun with well, that. Maybe we'll make that a recurring segment. Yeah, that was fun. We should do we should do that and then like the who who said it that I was going to do. Yes. At the beginning of everything. I was thinking like you say the line and then at the end of the episode you'll give the answer. Oh, there so you that go. everybody can th they'll have to listen to the whole thing. Nice. Um incentive. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Are you ready? For Star Wars trivia. I'm ready. Now, I have separated the questions into five categories. I'm going to be easy, very embarrassed. Medium, easy, medium, hard, and how did you know that? <laughs> um, now, the first 15 questions, I wrote myself, oh. and I knew the wow. answers to these questions. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, from memory, or they were questions I was asked at Star Wars Trivia Night in college. Ah, uh, yes. Which I, in which night. I took second place Heck in. yeah. The question that I got wrong that was the difference maker between first and mm -hmm. second and a $100 prize yep. is in the how did you know that category. 
which I've already gotten right in the past. You asked me that. Is that right? Yeah. Oh. Um, on a previous podcast. It's a different question, but yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Sounds good. Yes, I, kn- I know the question you're referring to, and um, I did also get that one wrong, but this is oh. the last oh, okay. one that I... Yeah, yeah. I got you. Okay. Because um, we both got it wrong. I don't know how it worked out. I <laughs> memory. Okay. Memory. Starting in the easy category, easy. I will read the question. I don't have hints prepared, Fair enough. but if you need a hint, I can give a hint. Okay. Um, and I have the answer prepared for you. Okay. And I'll, I think we should give a little bit of time, because I, I kind of rapid-fired my answers on your quiz. Oh, yeah. So I think we'll, we'll give the audience a little bit of time to try. We'll yeah. see how much you guys know. I did also gauge these questions on my parents. Uh, my dad did not great. <laughs> My mom got a few right. Oh, there you go. I'll give her the credit, mom. Nice job, Sherry. Shout out. Um, okay, starting in the easy category, okay. and we will ramp up Hopefully from I there. Can do this. I should be able to. Yes. This, by by the way, this is rated based on my knowledge okay. of Star Wars. So, de- I, I, genuinely, I do think that you'll do just right. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. But um, it you know we'll we'll see we'll see. We shall okay. See. F- question number one. Okay. What are Luke's surrogate parents' names? Okay, I do know. He knows the answer. Mm-hmm. Give, mm-hmm. A little, give a little time for the people uh, to think. Yeah. Okay, your Owen? answer. Owen, Owen and Peru, or Baru. I'm not sure. Baru. You have a last name? Lars. Owen and Baru Lars. Baru Lars. Is correct. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, question number two. What are midi chlorians? I mean, it's this stuff that, like, it's the force, and it's like it's it's the, it's the amount of the force that's like in your blood, basically. Like everybody mm. has a, a midi chlorian count mm-hmm. of some kind. I don't know the uh, official definition, though. Okay. Um, I'm going to give you half credit. Yeah. Because you, okay. you know what it is. I know what it is, but like... They are microscopic life forms that live within the cells of every living being. Oh, life forms. And I are a conduit, conduit for the force to speak to living beings. Interesting. I would have also accepted something dumb. <laughs> yeah. We only um, talk about it in that one movie. And then never again. Yes. Never again. Okay, question number three. We're gonna go a little bit outside of the Star Wars oh. lore here. I got one and a half. So what far. year was the original Star Wars film released? Bonus point if you can give me the day. Oh goodness. I can't give you the James day. got this one right. Uh because he was there. I always get this wrong. The first Star Wars, 1977. That is correct. Yes. May 25th, 25th, 1977. 1977. Was that an easy question? I don't know. No. <laughs> that's where, yeah, okay. So that's that's where the issue comes in. Okay. All good. Question number four. What is the name of the slave owner that owned Anakin and his mother Shmi? And what species is he? Oh, wow. That's a tricky one. I'll give you a point for each. Okay. Um, his name uh, is Watto. Watto. Uh, and his species is um, flying. He says it in the movie. Oh. Does I'm he? a blank. Jedi mind tricks don't work on me. I'm a Troidarian or whatever. I don't remember what it is. All right. Uh, what did you say? Troidarian? Yeah, I made that up. The species is Toy Darian. Toy Darian. Okay. The, <laughs> My could... dad said Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. All right. I, could, I can hear the line correct. in my head. I'm a Toy Darian. A Jedi tricks do not they work on me. <laughs> yeah, pretty Very much. Italian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give you that one. 
Well done, well done. Thank you, thank you. Question number five, and the final question oh, of the easy of the round. Easy category. What is the famous line from Empire Strikes Back that is so often misquoted? Ah, uh, that is a good question. Um, Arguably the most famous line in Star Wars. That is almost always misquoted. Because it, it's misquoted as, Luke, I am your father. That's that not. Is that's not what the line but actually. What is the is. actual line? Think of the line that precedes it. I think it's just. It's just no. I am your father, isn't it? No, I, I am, am your, your father. father. Yeah. No. Obi Wan never I told you what happened to your father. Your father. Yeah. He told me you killed him. No. He says no. Yeah. Because yeah. no, I am your father, doesn't exactly have enough context. So they put Luke yeah, yeah, yeah. in to give it context, and then now people believe that that's the line. Sort of a Mandela effect-esque yes. uh, happening there. All right, you went through the easy round largely unscathed. I got, what, four and a half? I'd give you four and a half out of five. Four and a half out of five. Um, since Troy good. Darian is not quite Toy Darian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, moving into the medium category. Ooh. Medium heat. We're going to move here. I, I do also have questions from the sequels, but it was a lot harder to think of them. Mm, yeah. And they are in the harder category because okay. of that. Okay. Uh, beginning the medium category, what was the name of the handmaid who portrayed the queen at the beginning of Attack of the Clones? Uh, Kira Knightley um, was her name. Uh, incorrect. Um... Attack of the Clones, not oh. Phantom Menace. Oh, Keira Knightley played she her was... in uh, the first one. Yes. I I don't know. Mm. I'm gonna have to mix that one. Nothing. Nothing from Jordan. No. The Handmaid's name was Corday. Yeah, I I don't watch that one Bummer. hardly ever. So <laughs> that's true. It's probably the one I've seen the most. Sadly. Yeah, uh, I saw it a lot when I'm a child. Kid, what do you know? Yeah. yeah, exactly. Okay, next question. What is the name of the song that plays while Luke stares out over a Tatooine evening in A New Hope? Mm -hmm. There are I two know names. This. Yeah. The think Force about, Unleashed. No, um, that's what came to mind. Think about the what he's what he sees. Yeah. It, Oh, it's a uh, it binary sons or binary, isn't that it? Binary Close. sunset. Binary <laughs> sunset. Is. There it is. I would have also accepted the force theme. Yeah. yeah. Uh, which, when you said force the force theme. unleashed, I hesitated, but you did not binary say it quite, sunset. Quite, quite quickly. Is the binary sunset. Uh, it is the force theme as well, yeah. technically. Mm -hmm. um, question number three. In our medium section, what is the name of the planet that Han Solo grew up on? It's the planet that the Solo film starts at. Yeah, he's got to get he's got to get back to Jakku. He's got to get back to. Um, <laughs> I've got to get back to Jakku. <laughs> He wants to go back to get Kira from... It's not Corellia. That's the other place. Or is it Corellia? <laughs> it's Corellia. Oh, okay. I thought that was yes. the... Uh, wait, what's the... Oh, they go to the other place to get Coaxium. And that's what I was thinking of. Yeah. Coaxium. Corellia. Corellia is correct. One of the few human homeworlds oh. alongside Naboo. There you go. Um, next question, what number is the docking bay that the Millennium Falcon was parked at in A oh, New Hope? Oh my goodness. It is a two-digit number. Fifteen. No. I don't know. <sighs> Come on. I don't know. Ninety-four. Okay. Docking bay 94. I, d I would never have known. Wow. You Am I even a Star Wars fan? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Moving over to the sequels briefly. Okay. Who is the owner of the tavern 
on Takadana in The Force Awakens. So that would be Maz Kanata. Maz Kanata is correct. Yes. Well done, well done. We give you three out of five in the medium the category. Medium. Still, still above 50%. Yes. Not doing terribly. We're moving into the hard category. Okay, here we go. Question number one. What is the actual name of the Millennium Falcon? Oh, boy. <laughs> the actual name. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, this is the the production model yeah, yeah. name. Dang it. I don't, I don't know. I'm going to know it as it soon is, as you say it, but... It is a Carillion. Carillion freighter. Freighter is in the name. It yeah. is a Carillion YT, YT model freighter. I should have said that. That was in my head. I was like, nah, that's stupid. Ah, why didn't you say it? Go with your know. gut, bro. That is disappointing. Oh, well. No um, points for me. No points there. Dang it. I, you know, I give you half a point. You got Carillion and freighter. Ah, yeah. Um... Question number two, what was the name of General Grievous' flagship in Revenge of the Sith? Oh. Um, General Grievous' flagship. I want to say Malevolence because that's in Clone mm. Wars. But that's that is from Clone Wars. Different name. Um, I don't know. He doesn't know. know. <laughs> <laughs> Any guess? Uh, no, dude, I don't know. Uh, bummer, nothing. The Invisible Hand. Okay, uh, yeah, no nope. name. I've never heard that in my life. Um, the what? Hand. This is question number three. What was the original last name of Luke Skywalker? This is classic uh, Star Wars trivia. Yes, classic Star Wars trivia. I do know. Um, just give it a second to My marinate. My dad got this one right. Star Killer. Luke Star Luke Killer. Luke Star Killer yes. is correct. Well done. Not a very family friendly name. Star so Killer. Go with, yeah, yeah, yikes. Um, uh, similar to the question. Uh, of what was the original name of episode 6 which was Revenge of the Jedi mm -hmm. which is very anti-Jedi name uh, yes, or anti-Jedi word yes. so they decided to save it for Revenge of the Sith and go with Return of the Jedi yes um, question number 4 have you ever heard the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise <laughs> you want me to complete the no well, that's, that was just a joke oh. it's just a joke Oh. It's not a story the Jedi would tell you is the uh, yes. correct answer. Oh, okay. Um, okay. <laughs> Thought I threw that one in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. You ever heard? Um, question number five. <clears throat> uh, number Question number four as a joke will not count against you. Okay, okay. Uh, what was the trooper code that Star Wars fans dubbed the stormtrooper who fought Finn on Takodana in The Force Awakens? Uh, give give that to me again. What was the original? Sorry, excuse me. What was the trooper code, or the name of this stormtrooper, uh, that Star Wars fans dubbed this stormtrooper who fought Finn on Takodana in The Force Awakens? He had one line, yeah, very he said, iconic. Traitor. Mm -hmm. That is the correct um. character. What did we dub him as Star Wars fans? Uh, um, uh, it is a code. T it's four. T R A I. Is it? <laughs> oh. T A T O R. <laughs> Traitor. <laughs> T R eight R. Oh, okay, I got you. Traitor. Traitor. Yes. That's funny. I'm a you. You were, you knew what you were. <laughs> I, knew, I knew it was. You like, were there. It's you were be, there. Yeah, traitor. Yeah, I like that. Well done. I'll give you that one. <laughs> uh, 
Um, this one's for the Clone Wars viewers out there. Oh, hello. Who framed Ahsoka Tano and got her expelled from the Jedi Order? Oh, 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 what's her name? This character was also featured in the 2003 drawn animated uh, Clone Wars special. What's her name? It is it is a she. She received. It is a she, right? It is a she. She is a uh, Luminarian, yeah. I believe. It's not, it's not um, Luminara. It's, um... No. Her <laughs> Padawan. Oh, no. Yeah, her Padawan. What's her name? Oh, no. I'm not going to room. I'm not going to be able to remember, but he's going to say it, yeah. and then I'm going to know it. Starts with a B. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's in my head. It's in my head as, a, as, as that <laughs> name that starts with a B. Recall. Uh, uh... Barris. Oh, uh, Barris something. <laughs> uh, Barris Offy. Barris Offy. Barris Offy. Oh, that is correct. I knew it. I'll give you half a point for half that one. Point. Um, let's say you got three half points. Oh, no, you got Starkiller. Yep, yep. Yeah, two and a half points out of five. Still at 50%. Pretty good, pretty good. We move on to the final five questions. Oh, there's more. That's right. Labeled the how do, how do you, you know, know that, that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. category. Now, keep in mind, just to brag briefly, um, I still knew most of these, mm. but this first question is the difference maker between a $100 prize oh, for $100 Star Wars question. trivia. Mm -hmm. What is the name of the creature that lives in the trash compactor on the Death Star. Never mentioned in the movies. Yeah. You're going to need to Google this one to figure it out. Man, I have no idea. Oh, Neither ugly, did I. Ugly Snake Man. Ugly Snake Man is correct. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually a really massive creature, right? Mm -hmm. It's just Pretty his eye that pops up. Yes. Yeah, I do not know. Unlucky. That's fair. Uh, the creature is called a Dianoga. Dianoga. All one word. Uh, question one. number. That's a tough one. Question number two. What is the name of the salty planet that hosts the final set piece of the Last Jedi? Oh, that would be um, Crate. Wow. Yes. I had to Google that one. Crate. I didn't know that one. Well done. How do How do you know that? I played a lot of Battlefront Two. Ah, yes. Great. You're right. I should have seen that one coming. <laughs> uh, question number three. What are the odds that someone can successfully pilot a spacecraft through an asteroid field? Uh, he says some big number. It's not that big. Oh. Uh, he says... I thought it was something like billion to one, but maybe that's mm -mm. not it. Not that big. The odds of piloting a spacecraft through an asteroid field is 1,000 to one. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, 37, or sorry, excuse me, 3,720 to one. 3,720 to one. Yeah. I would have also accepted never tell me the odds. Never tell me the odds. Um, okay, question number four. What does Mark Hamill say when he steps off the X-Wing after having destroyed the first Death Star? Uh, this is a good trivia question. Yeah. Because there's... he Doesn't he yell Carrie as Carrie Fisher's running towards him? He says, Carrie! Carrie! <laughs> but it just Instead sounds like he Leia. says... Ah! Something yeah. like that. That is a classic Carrie. way to know that one. Yes, I'm a Star Wars fan. I know that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Final question. This is a doozy. Okay. Final question. Here we go. Name the six bounty hunters Darth Vader sent uh -huh. to find the Millennium Falcon in Empire Strikes Back. Okay. There are six. Well, you got Boba Fett. 
the, the, the easy one. Bosk. Mm -hmm. Bosk is there. You got IG-11. IG-88. IG-88. Uh, and then you got Pale Girl from the prequels. <laughs> she's she was dead. No, nope. oh, she's dead. Uh, I think that's all I'm gonna know. Was uh, was Dengar in there? Was he in Dengar, there? Dengar was there. Shout out Dengar. Shout out to Dengar, also in the first Battlefront. That's how I know him. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's all I know. Dengar, Boba Fett, Bosk, and IG-88. This is how far I got. I knew these four. Yeah. But the other two are four Lom as a robot. Four Lom. And get this, Zuckus. 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 That's funny. Yes. Yeah, I've never heard those. Yes. So, okay, that is all I have for Star Wars trivia. I'd say you did pretty good. Pretty well. All pretty things good, all considered. Things. Well done to you. Ah, uh, yes. Shout out to the audience for knowing every answer without Googling it, I'm sure. Mm, yes. Um, okay, I, that's all I have for you. I loved it. I loved it. You have another game for us We're going to play a collective play. game together. This is a shout mm. out to my, my friend Justin um, from church who uh, played this game with me the first time, and we're going to do it here. Now, shout out Justin. So here's how it's gonna work. Here's how it's gonna work. Um, audience, you can play at home as well. Um, so I'm going to start by saying a movie. Let's say, let's say Thor: Love and Thunder, and then <gasps> Joshua will have to name an actor from that movie. So Christian Bale. Perhaps he would say Christian Bale, and then I would have to say another movie that Christian Bale is in, The Dark Knight. Joshua would have to say. Another a different actor from that movie, and so on and so forth until we can't wow. until we get stuck. Um, so let's just let's just let's jump let's just right into it. this. Let's get some music going. Let's let's get this going. Oh, um, so I gotta start with I'm gonna start with a movie, and I'm gonna say, mm -hmm. um, we'll keep it in the Marvel. Family, we'll just we'll keep it easy. We'll say uh, starting in the Marvel. Avengers. The Avengers. Uh, let's see. Do I? Am I trying to beat you, <laughs> or do I want to keep the chain going as long as possible? Let's try to just keep it going if we can. Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson. Uh. uh Star Wars: Revenge of the Sith. And I have I just do all the actors and you do all the movies? I guess so, yeah. We just alternate. Okay. Mm -hmm. Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. Um You and McGregor. What else is he? <laughs> He's in um What else is he? <laughs> <laughs> Immediately made it hard for us. Um He's in He's in that uh new movie Doctor Sleep, he's in that. Do you know any actors that are in that? I haven't seen that movie. <laughs> I haven't either. <laughs> this went downhill uh, so fast. Jack and the Giant Beanstalk. Nope. He's in that. Is he? And then I would say Nick Holt. And oh, you would say? I, I would say uh, uh, X-Men First Class. X-Men First Class. Yep. And I would say Jennifer Lawrence. And I would say um, The Hunger Games. Uh, Liam Hemsworth. Um... He's in other things. He's in... Or Josh Hutchinson. <laughs> <laughs> Josh Hutchinson's in uh, Journey to the Center of the Earth. Oh, my gosh. Dwayne the Rock. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, lots to choose from there. Uh, Jumanji, welcome to the jungle. It's... Uh... Karen Gillan. Uh, 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 Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, Chris Pratt. <laughs> oh, Jurassic World. Oh, uh, Bryce Dallas Howard. Uh, Spider-Man 3. Oh, my gosh. She's in Spider-Man She 3. definitely is. Um, Topher Grace. Oh, that's a toughie. That's a tough one. Interstellar. Uh, oh, he is, he an, is interstellar. an Interstellar. Yes. Matthew McConaughey. Um, uh, he's in other things. He's in... Um... <laughs> <laughs> 
we need like a timer that we have to beat. Um, McConaughey is in. He's in that movie, The Gentleman. Have you seen that? The Gentleman. Is Robert De Niro in that one? I don't know. I don't think so. I'm thinking of something else. I haven't seen it. Jessica Chastain. <laughs> yeah. She's an interstellar. Uh, uh, Jessica Chastain is in. Michael Caine. <laughs> Okay, that was a good round. Let's do it. Okay. Let's start a new round. I'll with start a, you I'll do a movie, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um <laughs> Inception. Okay. Leonardo DiCaprio. Titanic. Oh, dude, I Who else is in that movie? I haven't seen it. I don't know. Who's it's the Lady girl? On. No. Uh <laughs> Titanic. Gosh, I don't know what else is he in. I don't even know what else uh, Leonardo is in Revenant. I haven't seen that movie. Okay. But he's in Revenant. He's in Revenant. So is Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. Oh, Inception. Oh, no. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> um, uh, Mad Max Fury Road. Charlize Theron is in that movie. What's that movie called? Blondie that she's in? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know anything else about Charlize. I apologize. You would say uh, Fast and Furious 8, the eighth one she's in. Fast and Furious 8. And then I would say um, Jason Statham. Uh, 24. That's a TV show. Uh, <laughs> wait, Jason Statham, is he... He's the bald guy with the, the gun, right? He's the British bald I'm, guy. What am I thinking of? <laughs> the bald guy with the I'm gun. I'm thinking of Kiefer Sutherland. That's like Jason all Statham. of it, uh, um, Fast and Furious. <laughs> bald guys with guns. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> uh, I got nothing for you. I have no idea. <laughs> Anything about that guy. Uh, uh, is he in Top Gun or something? No. He's in The Meg. Um, uh. He's in The Italian Job. Let's do a new round. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do a movie again. <laughs> yeah, that was do a lame. Movie. That was disappointing. Um, Madagascar. Madagascar. I didn't even think of animated. it. Animated. Um Uh, uh, Ben, <laughs> Ben Stiller. Ben Stiller. Oh my gosh, you're right. Alex the Lion. I thought that was Owen Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. <laughs> ben Stiller. Um, what's that movie where he made? Oh, um, Hello. Battle of the Smithsonian. Yeah, no, the museum. Um, Amy Adams, isn't that? Oh, uh, uh, Superman. Uh, Man of Steel. Excuse me. Hello. She's um, terrible in that movie. She no is. offense. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Everybody go watch that commentary that we did. That's a great um, video. We'll do more of those. Let's see. You said Man of Steel, so I need to mm -hmm. say Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill, Mission Impossible. Oh heck yeah! And uh, Rock Fury Road. Tom Cruise. What? Uh, Top Gun. Uh, the first one. The first Top Gun. Um, the Just other. Kidding, you haven't seen that one. Top Gun Maverick. Well, okay. Um, I don't know. Who are you gonna say? The 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 guy that's in the first one and the second one. The other, other guy, the famous guy, Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer. Yeah. I cannot picture Val Kilmer. Oh well. Uh, Miles Teller. Val Kilmer. Miles Teller. Um. Ooh. Whiplash. Yes. J.K. Simmons. Uh, Spider Man. Yes. Um. Tobey Maguire is not in any other movies. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's not true. He's in, um... He's in Great Gatsby or whatever. Great Gatsby. Um, yeah, Leonardo DiCaprio. Okay, so, yeah, there you go. You said Leonardo... No, wait. I said Great Gatsby. You, Great Gatsby, Leonardo DiCaprio, now we're back to him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm playing the game with myself. Come on. Uh, wait, do, what do I need to do now? Where were we? Uh, I said... You said Great Gatsby. I said Leonardo DiCaprio, so... Uh, oh. Another movie with him, um, preferably not The Revenant. <laughs> oh my gosh, what other movies is he in? That, uh, the Quentin Tarantino one. The new one. Oh, uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And then I would say the other guy. Um, uh, <laughs> Brad Pitt. <laughs> Brad Pitt. <laughs> uh, Bullet Train. <laughs> uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson. Out. Is that the British guy? Yeah, yeah. One of. He's um, he's in Avengers: Age of Ultron. 
<laughs> he's he's uh he's, oh he's is Quicksilver. he Quicksilver? Yeah. Oh my gosh! Quick, uh, so, Avengers: Age of Ultron. Yeah, Avengers: Age of Ultron. Um, the, uh, uh, people are in that. Um, <laughs> There's so many people. <laughs> trying to think. Mark Ruffalo. Uh, Friends with Benefits. Is he in that? No, he's not in that. No, I he's not. I think so. Um, <laughs> he's in a rom-coms. movie we haven't seen. <laughs> Uh, that's true. I have not seen that. Mila Kunis and uh, what's his face? JT. JT. Oh, well, that's right. It's JT. <laughs> it's, yeah. Um, who did you say? Mark Ruffalo. No, it's my turn. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> Mark Ruffalo. He's in that movie with the magicians. Prestige. No, uh, the newer one. Uh, He's, now you see me. Yes. Um, and so is the prestige is really that's good. A great that's film. a Christopher Nolan joint. You should watch that. One of my favorite actors is in Now You See Me, and I always forget his name. Daniel Radcliffe. No, <laughs> he's not in the first one. No, um, gosh, I know who it is. Uh, yes, uh, I know who his it is, name. and I have an answer for you. What's his name? <laughs> I have the next movie oh, already. I'm screaming inside. Come on. What is his name? He plays Lex Luthor in Batman vs Superman. Oh, Jesse Eisenberg is also in there. He's not one of my favorite actors, but Jesse oh, Eisenberg. Good. Okay. I was thinking who, of. Um, who are you? I was say? thinking of the guy who plays um, Beckett in Solo as well. Um, oh, um, <laughs> Hamish Abernathy. Yeah, him. <laughs> anyway, I said Jesse Eisenberg. What else is he in? Jesse Eisenberg. Uh, Batman versus Superman. <laughs> there you go, Ben Affleck. Uh, uh Goodwill Hunting. Uh, Matt Damon. Interstellar. <laughs> and Hathaway. Uh, the Dark Knight Rises. Yes. Um, uh, Michael Caine. Michael Caine. Um, oh my gosh, what isn't Michael Caine in? I know. Uh, me. Interstellar. Um, no, that's where you just came from. Yep, can't do that. Michael Caine. Um... I feel like he's in a lot of things, but I can't think of anything else. Yeah, I know. Oh, the movie we talked about earlier. He's in. The one with the magicians. The Prestige? Yeah, he's in The Prestige. He is in The Prestige? He's like the... He's the mentor guy. Um, Hugh Oh, yes, you're right. Hugh Jackman. Uh, Chappie. (laughs) I have an answer, and I have the next question. So many movies you could have said. He says (laughs) Chappie. I I like that movie. Chappie's good. There's a whole franchise of movies where Hugh I know, Jackman's but the we main already character. went there. We already went there. Well, Chappie, I have an answer. I don't answer, know what that is. And I have the next question. I don't know who else is in there. Dev Patel. Oh, Dev Patel. Dev Patel is in Chappie. Um and the very good fantastic Marigold Marigold Hotel or whatever it's called. What is that? It's a hotel in India where a bunch of old white people go. It's funny. I have not seen that. Bummer. I think you win. Um, I think you win the game. Oh, By what's her name? Chappy. Oh, I can't remember her name. She's been alive forever. She's McGonagall. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Um, Maggie Smith. Maggie Smith. Is Maggie in Smith. Harry Potter. In Harry Potter. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Your turn. You you do a movie. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. How long are we going here? Can we just hit an hour? Only an hour in. Come on. Um, I need to name a random movie, don't I? Mm-hmm. The Batman. The newest one? Yep. Uh, uh, <laughs> what's that guy's name? The who plays the Joker for two, two minutes? <laughs> Why him? Pick pick somebody else. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Um, Robert Pattinson. Fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll go with Twilight. Uh, Anne Hathaway. No, just kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> Close, but not really. Uh, oh, gosh. I can't think of either of their names. <laughs> Edward or Bella. <laughs> well, Edward is I Robert I haven't seen Pattinson. these movies. Robert Pattinson is Edward, and Kristen um, Stewart is... Uh, Kristen oh. Stewart. Jeez. Um, Kristen Stewart. I, su- I suck! <laughs> 
Um, have you seen Underwater? That's a great movie, guys. Watch that. Dr. Kristen no. Stewart is in that. Um, I won't say that. I would have accepted Catch That Kid <laughs> for Kristen Stewart. <laughs> Do you know? And I would have said else? Orlando Bloom. Okay, Orlando Bloom. Um, and that's not an Orlando Bloom. Um, oh. The kid who was... Or- his name is also Orlando. He was in That's So oh, Raven. Yeah, I don't remember High School Musical. Name. Orlando. Didn't he go missing? Orlando Brown. Orlando Brown. I don't know. We'll say High School Corey Musical. Corey in the house. High School Musical. <laughs> uh, Zach Efron. The Greatest Showman. He is in that. Yeah. Um, Zendaya. Oh. Uh, Spider-Man. Uh, no Way Home. <laughs> no way home. Uh, Willem Dafoe. Ooh. Uh, uh, um, um, I was going to say The Lighthouse, but that movie is only him and Robert Pattinson. And we've only I was, was going to say Robert Pattinson. <laughs> I had the path lined up for you. <laughs> we, we've been there already. Uh, Willem Dafoe is in... You haven't seen The Northman. Um, uh, Anya Taylor-Joy. Yep. The Northman. Anya, Bill Anya Skarsgård. Uh, Anya That's Taylor-Joy. A- Anya Taylor Joy. Anya Taylor Joy is in. She's in a lot of TV. I don't know. Yeah, what other she's in she's the in. Queen's Gambit, but I don't know anybody else in that movie. She's also in Peaky Blinders. Peaky Blinders. Cillian. Cillian Murphy. <laughs> uh, Inception. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of people in there. Um, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Ooh. Um, Looper. Who's the uh, other guy in Looper? Hayden Christensen. That's Jumper. No, that's Jumper. Uh, <laughs> I don't know Looper, dude. Uh, <coughs> Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. Um, he's in other things, too. He's pretty popular. You haven't seen... Um, you haven't seen Unbreakable, have you? Is that the war movie? No, that's um Unbroken. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, Bruce Willis Die Hard I haven't seen it I don't know um, I am Groot <laughs> That's Vin Diesel Different bald guy uh, Oh my Gosh I suck Okay uh, My turn to do movie Yeah I can't do it anymore Okay are People um, are interested in this are you guys Of course a they are time? What are you talking about They love how much we know about things <laughs> Um, I want to read more reviews. Mm, drive. Drive. Uh, I haven't seen it, but I know. Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling. Blade Runner 2049. Harrison Ford. Uh, Star Wars The Force Awakens. Um, uh, Adam Driver Marriage Story uh, Scarlett Johansson <laughs> There you go <laughs> um, Iron Man 2 John Favreau um, Chef there you go. Um, I haven't seen that. John Leguizamo. I, <laughs> I have no <laughs> idea who that is. <laughs> um, who I else had... is in Chef? Scarlett Johansson was also in that movie. Um, oh, really? Interesting. Um, 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 Sofia Vergara. Was... <laughs> uh, I don't know any other movie she's in. Modern Family. Yeah. <laughs> who else is in that movie? Um the guy from uh, I can't say what he's from because you need to say that. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know his name. Wait, a bit. can I look it up? No. Sure. Well, no. Sure, but no, I'm not looking it up. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. I'm definitely not looking this up. I'm really, I'm really just not. Um, I'm really, oh, I'm really not looking it up. It's he's not in this movie. <laughs> you're not gonna know his name, Bobby Cannaval. Do you know who that is? I have no idea. He's who that the is. Uh, the um, cop from Ant Man is what I was trying to say. Anyway, <laughs> wowzers, <laughs> we're going off the rails here, dude. Proceed. Um, 
Let's see. Uh, Nausicaa and the Valley of the Wind. <laughs> Just of Gordon Levitt. No. <laughs> Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> same same thing. <laughs> Shia LaBeouf. Transformers. Shia LaBeouf. Transformers. Um. Um. Megan Fox. Um. Mary Kate Nashley. What? Uh, Atlantis. She's in the. <laughs> Uh, Splash Under the Sun. What is it called? <laughs> <laughs> Fun Under the Sun. I don't. I think. I don't know, man. They go to Atlantis. Do Excuse me. Oh, were you in line? Brianna Wallace. Messages, please. Do they? I've never heard mm -hmm. of that. To be honest. There's a there's an actor in that movie named Champlain, and he's in Holes. <laughs> Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> oh man, this. We need to stop. I'm not even this. kidding you. His name is Champlain. Champlain. <laughs> oh, oh man. man, this has been fun. <laughs> I've had a lot of fun. <laughs> is there anything um, else we should do? I don't know. I have I have a couple lines yeah, that I wanted give, to give, give you. Give me your line game. But let me give you a couple lines. Okay, so I'm gonna say a line from a movie, mm -hmm. and you have to guess the character in the movie okay. that it came from. So I had questions like. Uh, no, I am your father yep, in the yep, easy yep, round. Yep, yep. Uh, you like jazz? <laughs> Barry, What's that from? Barry B. Benson or whatever his name is from the B movie. Barry B. Benson. That's exactly right. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, we can do this. I had, this. Um, let's see, Oaky Nuttiness. Do you detect that? Oaky Nuttiness. Do you detect that? Is this a, can it be TV shows? Uh, yes, but this is not. Okay. It's similar to a line from The Office, but. Oaky nuttiness. Can you? You're talking that? about an oaky afterbirth. Yeah, oaky afterbirth. Um, <laughs> That's gross. Yeah. Yeah. But funny. I don't know that one. Uh, ratatouille. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, India Golf Niner Niner. Uh, the Incredibles. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I put that in the hard, but you uh, nailed, nailed it. Okay. One hundred percent. Um. Please, Mr. Weber was my father. Mr. Weber. I don't expect you to get this. I don't expect anyone. To what get this. kind of? Give me. Some it's a TV context. show. It's a TV show. It's an animated TV show. A kids animated TV show. Mr. Weber was my father. Kids. Please, came in. Mr. Weber was my father. Uh, Call me Bob. No, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> oh, Phineas and Ferb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Phineas and Ferb. Yes. Okay. I knew this. I did this. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's my Phineas dad got it from that too. That's awesome. Okay. I love that show. Um, watch that again. That's a good show. I didn't have a lot more prepared. Man. But yeah, that that's kind of what I was thinking. I think we could do one of those at the beginning yep, of a yep, movie yep. Okay. or an episode so, and then give an answer at the end. I think it'd be fun for people. Mm -hmm. I think so. Uh, well, with that, I guess I, I I don't mind doing a little bit of a shorter episode for the for the people. Yeah, I mean, it probably should have been a little bit shorter anyway. There. <laughs> uh, well, you know, I was having fun. You know, I yeah, didn't want it, it to stop. Really fun. Glad, I, yeah, I'm glad we did it. Just having some fun together. Get ready for a speeding ticket. Get ready for a speeding ticket. Adventure time. <laughs> it's not. I don't even. I don't think he says that in the show. Get ready for a speeding ticket. Yeah, but. Shout out to my YouTube channel, uh, Razamafu. Yes. On YouTube. Um, there's a joke from that video that I just referenced. Check it out. Yep. Uh, link in the description. All right, guys. That's been about enough fun from us. <laughs> uh, thanks for sticking through our busy lives. Uh, we don't plan on... Doing every other week. We plan on doing every week. Yep. Things just kind of happened these last couple weeks, and uh, we'll be right back to our regularly scheduled programming ASAP. Uh, do we have ASAP something possible. next week? Do we have a, potentially a, an episode planned for next week? We, what is next we're gonna week? We're going to do the thing with our friend, potentially. Oh, yes. If we can get him. <laughs> if we can if not. Him. If not, then it'll be Jordan's first anime. Oh, there you go. But we'll we'll see what, what shakes out. 
Um, you guys should watch Arcane on Netflix. Yes. Just in case. Arcane Cause on Netflix. On Netflix. That's pretty good. Side note, my mom came to me yesterday, and she said, I was watching your Thor Love and Thunder episode. People still watch our podcast. And she said that I, Sherry, want to watch that anime that you were talking about. Oh, wow. Look at you influencing I've our never, audience. I've never been so excited in my life. So hopefully today <laughs> Which anime I were can you get her to about? watch the uh, Comey Can't Communicate. Oh, that's right. It's the one about uh, social anxiety, shy girl. Yes. And I think I oversold it a little bit. Oh. And I'm worried because it's more of a rom-com. <laughs> Yeah. Um, then, like, really battling with social anxiety and sure. stuff. So I hope that she'll watch the whole thing. Because uh, it is really good. Um, but it is also, like, I mean, it's an anime, you know? Yeah. yeah for kids. So for, <laughs> Animation is for kids. We'll see. Not all animation is for kids. <laughs> yes. Kids. Kids. All right. Kids, There's kids. some stuff in there that's nasty. Kids, kids. What's that right. from? What's that line from? Kids, I kids. <laughs> I have no idea it's from what's Friends. that. Oh, really? Yeah. I've I, I've I I've been thinking about watching Friends again. It's great. It's a great time. We should watch it together. You know, um, my mom noticed that I stutter uh, huh. sometimes. Only sometimes on the show, and I didn't really. I don't do it in normal conversation. But I guess I do filling time for our thought to like metabolize in our mind, you know, metabolize just like and 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 this is what I'm saying. Yeah, I do do that. You do that. So I do that as well. I'm not saying this like, oh, I'm insecure about my stuttering now. I just did it there. Just, you know, I did notice that. Interesting. I'll be thinking about that. Interesting. All right, I, I got nothing else to think about or say. <laughs> yeah, this um, has been fun. Oh yeah, yeah. Hope you guys have I, had a great time with us today. Yeah, I had so much fun. We'll be back to weekly episodes here. We're not going anywhere. All right, this isn't over. That's right. We're not gonna peter out and and die. Oh, yeah, this isn't no. just gonna end one day. No. I'm here every week for the rest of my yes, natural life. Absolutely. All right. Or so long as we're having fun. And I'm still having tons of fun, so uh, love that. Love that for us. We are killing it. Absolutely. It's so much fun. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening. Don't forget to check out the YouTube videos as well, yes. Mom. And um, <laughs> we'll see you guys next week for whichever episode we end up making. And uh, we'll see you guys then. See ya. Bye.